Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood badger here and I'm back from a, uh, a hiatus you could say. Uh, look, I've, uh, I've had a little bit of time off, uh, mentally haven't been doing that amazingly, but I think we're pushing through and Gauntlet's about to start. So it's time for me to actually tell you what I'm playing in the Gauntlet because I am coming back for the Gauntlet push, seeing how far we can do. We're not going for a prize, but we're going for some good participation points. Want to try and hit level 90, want to see if we can do like some bosses like Shaper or something like that. Um, that's, there's a potential there, depending on how well I do, and I've decided on a build to kind of, uh, start things off, and then a build to transition into. It's actually a two-part build, this one. You may have seen from the thumbnail, this is a Blood Slinger, a Gladiator Blood Slinger, using Exsanguinate, uh, and then using things like, uh, Kinetic Blast and, uh, Bleeding to give some pretty nice bleed pops, because they scale immensely well with Monster Health. Because they deal damage of percentage Monster Health, uh, you know, it kind of scales up and doesn't matter what kind of content you're doing with those. Now, it's primarily for clear. Now, this is not going to be bossing like crazy. A build like this is going to push uh, in the gauntlet. We're going to push to, you know, around about... Um, it's around about, like, level... Uh, you know, look, we could definitely push level 95, 96 on this. Uh, but, like, maps, we're looking at, like, you know, high yellows type of thing to maybe early reds that we'll be able to go into. Uh, and then it really starts kind of slowing down. Now, I haven't actually leveled this character up much and haven't done a too much practice. As I said, I've kind of been uh, AFK for a bit, just dealing with some life stuff. That stuff is getting better. Uh, my head's feeling a little bit better. Um, but uh, yeah, we're back to it. Um, so this is basically it. It kind of looks like this. Uh, this is obviously only level... Oh, nice. 69 right now. Just doing a little bit of Blood Aqueducts. And you can see, you know, we're taking a lot of damage. So I really haven't got a bunch of the stuff working properly. The way I'm going to be leveling this is uh, going to be with steel skills. I would say that if you're uh, good with slams and everything like that, then uh, leveling with slams, uh, like earth shatter, uh, is going to be better. I just prefer leveling with splitting steel and shattering steel and that sort of thing. Um, I think they work better for me, right? Um, so that's kind of how this goes, right? You just kind of jump through. What I've got right now is just my first two ascendancy points. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, damage is taking a lot, but that's because I kind of just zoomed this character through just to, you know, get it working properly, uh, and uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, the tree itself, now this is a red eyes tree, there's a bunch of really, really good trees out there, people like Tower Bra uh, got level uh, 100, the first level 100 in Solo Self found hardcore with this build, um, is extremely fast mapper, very subpar bosser, but I'm going to be switching this character into Bleed Earthquake, if I get to that point, to be able to do some, uh, <coughs> do some slam bossing. Uh, if I don't get to that point and I keep dying, then hey, that's Gauntlet, and uh, you know, I've died a lot. Uh, but I do have my uh, Gauntlet Jumper. Um, I'll put a link down below to uh, Zizarin's shop if anyone wants to purchase one of these. It came extremely quickly. There are, um, uh, what do you call them? Fulfillment centers all around the globe. So this actually came from uh, Victoria. I think it was Victoria, maybe <clears throat> New South Wales. Anyway, it came really quickly. I was expecting being in ex Australia, most of the stuff that you purchase, most of the merch from content creators is takes like a month, two months. This came super quickly, so you can pick one up. Uh, you know, maybe get it halfway through Gauntlet, something like that. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be playing. I'll put the POB of what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, Carverusku is the one who brought me onto this, so go and check out Carve, go and check out Tower Bra, go and check out, uh, this is the Red Eyes um, POB right here. I'm definitely not the one who made this build. It's going to be super strong for me pushing uh, just kind of the low tier maps, getting into maps and then just not pushing much content, but grinding a lot of currency uh, well, not really currency, just gear, right? Because it's solo self found. Grinding a lot to get that switch into a bleed Earthquaker. And then maybe push some of those bosses if we can do it. Um, that's all I really have to say. Um, now, I do have a little bit uh, right here. Uh, this is taken from Quantric. Uh, Quantric's from last gauntlet. He had a little bit of a slam leveling tree. So this is the kind of leveling tree that you'd look for. You'd look for something like this, right? Coming right out of here, picking up some of all of this kind of stuff, the Measured Fury and the Admonisher for your war cries, uh, and then uh, doing some big boy slams through all of that. Um, Earth Shatter is really amazing. Uh, and yeah, I'll also put his video down below if you want uh, a really, really nice video. He goes uh, in depth through, I think, the first few acts, um, talking about how he would level the build and everything like that. I would switch to this build. Uh, you can switch anywhere from the library, but it's not recommended. I would definitely switch when you get your second lab when you get your bleed pops from your gladiator. So down here, uh, instead of a uh, champion, so you're not actually gonna be doing champion here, I, I would switch to the gladiator. Uh, when you get your first two, you get your normal and your cruel lab, go into gratuitous violence, then you can switch to your bleed slinging, uh, and it uh, kind of works like this. You just throw out your uh, kinetic blasts, 
Um, actually, we'll just do a little bit more of a demonstration here. One, one small demonstration. So bleeding, corrupting fever, and exsanguinate. We're spell slinging uh, exsanguinate. Uh, I've just got that in a four link right now. Then we're using the four link uh, corrupting fever with brutality, efficacy, and swift affliction. So at the start of maps or anything like that, you want to do this. And then on your kinetic blast, you've got life tap, so you're always going to keep that up. And then you can see it just kind of you just kind of uh, zoom through like this. Hit the mobs, get a unique drop. That's pretty nice. And then just keep going through. Uh, and yeah, some really really nice pops. You can pretty much off screen everything. Now, the big thing right now is obviously we go for offense first on this uh, Ascendancy. With Gladiator, the big thing with Gladiator is going to be massive in Gauntlet is obviously the massive capped block and spell block. And we're not getting our spell block until Uber Lab. So the goal here is to get into tier 1 maps and grind tier 1 to tier 3 maps until we have Uber Lab. And then slowly go do Uber Lab. Then we start gearing up our block, try and get a uh, life recovery block shield. Uh, once we start getting into those kind of maps, and then we start pushing into the yellow maps. Because Gauntlet is extremely dangerous. Uh, that's all I really have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, and hey, if, you, if you've been around for ages, you've noticed a little bit of like a lull in the Badger YouTube content, don't worry, I'm not gone forever. Um, just, as I said, I've just been dealing with a couple of... A couple of... Uh, headspace things basically uh nothing that's that's too bad or you know i i have it a lot better than a lot of other people um just a little bit stressed at the moment just in terms of you know what the future is looking like and also burnout burnout's pretty big for content creators like myself i've done a lot of stuff in the past bpl kind of hit me pretty hard it was amazing but i got a lot of burnout so if you want to support me in any way the best way that you can do it is to just you know watch my videos and and enjoy them if you do enjoy them you know hit that sub button if you really want to be notified uh, when new videos come out and everything like that. Um, I'll be pushing out more content through the gauntlet, hopefully some highlight clips and everything like that of uh, probably a lot of deaths. Um, but there, yeah, just come and check us on Twitch as well. We'll be streaming the gauntlet, uh, twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. Gonna have some fun time, some chill time. So come uh, come check us out. It's gonna be a little bit of a grind up because I had almost a week hiatus and if you're content creating and you take a break, uh, an unplanned break for a week, uh, it, does, it does hurt quite a bit. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Go grab a jumper or a t-shirt from uh, Zizarin's Gauntlet store. And uh, until next time, Badger, out.